If you have ever heard about shokoto, this is what a shokoto is. It is a trouser with an elastic waist and a rope. So in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to cut it step by step. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, which is a like. And make sure you subscribe if you're yet to subscribe. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. And I hope you guys enjoy it. So let's get straight to the cutting. I'll be showing you the full video step by step. So right here, the very first thing I'll be doing is this side is not straight enough and I'll need to just make it straight. This way I'll be cutting the waist side. This way I'll be cutting out the waist side. So the measurement I'll be using, here is the measurement I'll be using. The waist is going to be 40. No, sorry, the waist is going to be 30. Let me make that a little bit clearer. Okay, so here. The waist is going to be 30, the length of the trouser is going to be 39, the lap is going to be 22, and the M, which is the circumference, is going to be 15. So let's do that. So after we make our line like this, you can see, the next thing I'm going to take is, you know, our waist is going to have an elastic, which is going to have a fold at this side. So after this line, I'm going to take in 2 inch. The fold itself is going to be at 1.5. And I'm going to fold in half of an inch inside. So don't forget that. So I'm going to have a two inch at this waist side. I'm going to mark my two inch here as well. You can see that. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to chuck it together. So here we have our two inch for our elastic and our rope. That's outside there. So the next thing we are going to do now is we are going to take all our measurements from this side. This is just an allowance for the um, for the elastic and for the rope. So here we are going to take our normal measurement. So I'm going to divide my waist, which is, my waist is 30 inch. So I'm going to divide my 30 inch by four. That's 30 divided by four, which will give me a total of 7.5. So for the elastic and for the um, waist and hip, I'm going to add an extra two inches to that. That's uh, the universal measurement. I'm going to add an extra two inch to that. That's 7.5 plus two inch which will give me a total of 9.5 inch. So I'm going to measure my 9.5 inch here. So that will be for the waist. That will be for the waist. So to get the crotch measurement, I usually use my exact waist measurement if I'm I'm cutting a corporate trouser. But because I'm cutting a shukoto, which is a free trouser here, I'll be using my exact same measurement, which is 9.5, and I'm going to add an extra one inch to that which will make it a total of 10.5 for my crotch so that the, um, the crotch side is going to be free. So after that, I'm going to measure exactly this 10.5. I'm going to measure it at this side. You see that? I'm going to measure it at this side. Let me zoom in closely so that you can see exactly what I'm doing. Okay, so here is my crotch length from here to here. Here is my waist length from here to here. So the next thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to measure exactly the same thing I measured here for my waist side, which is 9.5. I'm going to measure it here as well. Don't forget, I took the measurement from the M of this fabric. I'm not using this M, this particular side. So I took the measurement from here and also from here, which is my 9.5. So the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to glue this side together. Let's join them together. So here, don't forget our lap is 22 inch, right? Our lap is 22 inch. And if you divide your 22 inch by two, you're going to have your 11 inch. You're going to have 11 inch actually. You're going to have 11 inch. You can use that as your crotch measurement. But basically, the most universal measurement you should be using for your crotch allowance is 2.5 to 3 inch. 1.5 2 inch, 2.5, 3 inch. That's the maximum you are going to use. So for this one, I'm going to use a total of 2 inch. Because the person wearing this is not that uh, big. It's a slim person. So I'll be using a total of 2 inch. If the person is a fat person, you can go for an extra. You can just go for 3 inch if the person is huge or is, um, is fat. You can go for 3 inch. It is not a same if like the clothes is too big you can easily adjust it during the fitting time then the fitting um so i'm going to add an extra 
God, the gen just went down. That sounds very, very nice. So, uh, I'm going to add an extra two inch to this side. So, from here as well, I'm going to measure my here to here. 10.5, 10.5. So, here I can easily join them together. You see that? And take my crotch measurements. And take my crotch core. Okay, so here we have our crotch core. So if assuming we are making a corporate trouser, the difference there is that here we are going to make a cut here so that our waist is going to be adjusted. We are going to take out one inch and make it slant here. We are going to slant it as well. Don't forget, but here is just a shukuto. So the next thing we are going to do now is to take our length measurement, which is 39. And I'm going to add an extra two inch. So we are taking our measurement from this side, not this side again. Our length measurement is going to be taken from here, which is 39. And I'm going to add an extra two inch to the, for the um, M allowance. So that will be 41 inch. That'll be a total of 41. From here, don't forget, this is just an allowance. So from here, we're going to take our 41. I'm going to mark 41 here. On this side as well. I'm going to mark my 41 here. So let me move the camera so that you guys can see. Right here. You can see I already marked my 41 here. So the next thing I'm going to do is, because I want the side of this leg to be very short, I don't want it to be moving to the side of the trouser. So I'm going to take it out one inch from this side. I'm going to take out one inch, you can see that, and after that one inch, I'm going to measure my leg, which is 15. I'm going to cut out exactly the 15 inch measurement, which will be 15 divided by 27.5. I'm going to mark that. So the next thing we are going to do now is our knee measurement. Mostly, let me zoom back for a little bit, okay? Mostly from here to this side. Our knee is always between, um, an adult, the knee is always between 22, 20, 22 to 23. So here, from this side, you're going to measure your knee. You can take a measurement for it, but for me, I usually know the measurement is always between 20, 21, 22, 23 to 24. So here, I'm just going to use a total of 22 inch for the knee measurement. You can see that. Your knee is always around 20, 21, 22 to 24. That's the maximum. Even though I take 23 inch from here, I'm still going to have to shape it so it will never have an issue. So you guys can see that. I just take my knee measurement from here. So from this side to my knee, you can see that. From this side to my knee, I'm going to cuff it. I'm going to join them together. You see that? Let me show, let me show that the chalk is close. Okay. So you see what we have? That's for our knee from here. The knee is here. So the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm just going to make a straight line from here to this place. See what we have so far? That's for that side. That's from the leg, from the M side. I'm going to make a straight line to here. So the next thing you're going to do is just to curve this line. Because our leg is not as straight as this, we're going to cuff it. See that? We're going to cuff it. So that's what we have. So the next thing we're going to do now is just to, from this one inch that we took from here, we're going to join them together to this side here. See that? I'm going to join this together. I have my two inch here. We have our two inch, which is for our allowance, our M. You might not need to actually chop that, but I just want to chop it so that you guys will be able to know. You see that? On this side as well. So here we are going to join them together. You see that? So before we're going to cut out this, I will need to like show you guys what I did here as well. So just for a recap, just for a recap, you can see 
here is our waist here to this place is the allowance for the elastic don't forget the elastic here is a two inch allowance for the elastic from here to here is our coach measurement that's our waist divided by four plus an extra one inch is for our crotch measurement. Our waist divided by four plus our extra one inch because this is shukuto. But if you're cutting a corporate and a fitted trouser, you just use your exact waist measurement here. And here is our crotch. Don't forget, I had an extra two inch here and our crotch is always, our crotch cup is always between two inch to three inch. Like uh, two, 1.5 to three inch. So here I use two inch for our crotch. And here is our length. Here is our knee measurement from the waist side to this knee is 22 inch and that is the uh, extra 2 inch for our M allowance. You can see that's our extra 2 inch for our M allowance. So the next thing I'm going to do now is just to cut this whole thing out. So let's cut it out. So here is our trouser, you can see that, here is our trouser, here is what we have so far, our trouser. So the next thing we are going to do is we are going to cut the back side, so it's very simple, let's cut the back side. So here to cut out the back, all we just have to do is just to please our front needs. So now, remember we cut our trouser from this side. So from this side, so our front has to just turn over. So the leg side that is there before we have to come to this side. And I'll be cutting it from this line. You can see, make sure it gets closer to this place. We're seeing that. See what we have. So just lay your front on the back just like that. See here? That's what it looks like. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to trim out this side. See that I'm going to trim out this side as well. So after trimming that part out, the next thing I'm going to do is to move this front backward. I mostly add an extra two inch at this side, extra two inch here. On this side as well, this waist side, I'm going to add an extra two inches to that. You can see. I'm going to add an extra two inch here. So on this side as well, I'm going to add an extra two inch here. So here. I'm going to join these two together, these two lines. I'm going to make the core here. The waist. So here we don't need to do any slant. It's as simple as that. You can see. So very simply, I'm going to just cut that part out.
See? I'm going to cut the entire trouser out. So, so far this is what we have. We have our front and we have our back. As simple as A, B and C. We have our front and we have our back. So the next thing we are going to do now is to cut the pocket. So we can use this for the pocket side. So our pocket is mostly 14 by 14 inch. So from here, we're going to measure 14 inch, that's 7 by 14. This is doubled already. Hope you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so here is doubled already. So I'm going to measure 7. I'm just going to trim that part down. So here, I'm going to measure 14. Okay, so here as well, we're going to measure a seven. Okay, so this is about a seven. Because you have to cut out two pockets, two um, pockets, left and right. I'm going to measure my length, which is 14. Okay, so right here we have our 14. So now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure the front of the pockets, they're facing each other like this. After they're facing each other, I'm going to fold it together. Now I'm going to make a cuff at this side. See? So this is our pocket. See what we have so far? Let me zoom in closely so that you can see what I'm about to do next. So here we have our pockets. So the next thing I'm going to do now is, from here, from here, I'm going to cut, I'm going to make a notch at eight inch. You can see this, I'm going to make a notch at inch, eight inch. I'm going to notch it right here. So you see what I did? I make a notch at eight inch. You can see that? So the next thing I'm going to do now is to stitch it together. And we're going to stitch our trouser as well. So that's about it here. And I'll see you guys. Let's get straight into the sewing. <laughs> 